This is a demonstration of how you would log in and schedule a lab in our new virtual labs. Your CWID or campus-wide ID is your username and if you don't have that you can contact the college and they'll be glad to share it with you. The default password is password123, all lowercase. The first screen that you see will ask you to change your password. So do that and then click OK. You don't have to put an email address in unless you want to. Then you have your date and time settings and normally the defaults are OK. If you're in Dallas, then you'd change it over to Central Time. Click OK. Now it's going to do a port test to make sure that you can reach this site and, and log in properly through your firewall. So now you see my account's ready to use. So the next thing that we do is click on Scheduler. The only class I've got is my little play area, my sandbox for Network Plus. So click on that and then let's do the first lab. So click on Lab 1 and for some reason I've got uh, more pods than one showing up here. Each one of these areas is a pod that's the all of the topology that you're going to need to work with this particular lab. In your case you should only see one pod. So I'm going to click as close to the red line as I can so that I can start my lab right away. And then you pick how long you want to have it. Whoops, I picked a time before my start time. So let's go down and notice that uh, I've picked 9 hours and 52 minutes, which definitely is going to be too long. It won't accept that. You've got a maximum of four hours. And the last 10 minutes of that time is going to be used for cleanup. So let's go back up here and be more reasonable. Okay, that'll give me two hours and 21 minutes. So let's click OK on that. Unless you want to make another re reservation on another day or later in this day, you would click on I'm done. Notice now that you've got a tab that says Enter Lab. If you scheduled this lab for later in the day and you left your web page open, you could have to press the refresh button because your Enter Lab button doesn't automatically refresh. So when it got to be 1 o'clock and that's when you schedule it for, there would be no Enter Lab button. You would have to click the refresh. If you log out and come back in, of course, it'll pop up. So look for the Enter Lab button and click on that and it will start your lab. If you go immediately into your lab, it will take a few minutes for the topology to load, as you just noticed, because it's having start and initialize each one of these virtual machines. So now you've got your topology up and you're ready to start on your labs. So now, where do I get my lab? Click on Lab Content and you'll get a PDF that starts up. Read through every step within the lab. Notice it gives you your usernames and passwords, and then it gives you step-by-step -step instructions. This lab was prepared by Colin itself. You will see a little bit different style of PDF on most of the labs that are actually prepared by the company that created NetLabs. They do a little bit more than what we did on these. You can actually download this if you want to. You can print it or you can save it so that you can work with it the way that you like to. After doing your labs, make sure you click on the I'm done button. When you do that, it closes your lab or it says ends the lab reservation and it closes down all of the virtual machines. Now that pod is available for use by someone else. If you didn't click on end lab, it would continue to hold that time as though you were using it and nobody else could use it. So please do click on I'm done. Hopefully that gives you a lot better understanding about how you get into your NetLab, especially the first time, and how to schedule your labs.
If you have any problems getting into the labs or to schedule your labs, be sure and email either me or Lewis Scaife. My name is Julie Hitchhold. You see our email addresses off to the right. I hope you have fun with your virtual lab.